afternoon everybody we're out spraying some some leafy spurge I don't know how many of you guys have that stuff around uh, your area but if you don't have it it's, that's good for you guys it's that all the yellow that you see out there is leafy spurge it is a terrible terrible weed it isn't something you can spray one year or even two years or three years and kill you've got to spray it probably for a lifetime the seeds on leafy spurge I think they say last like 50 years plus um, the roots on leafy spurge go down uh, I want to say it's close to 15 20 feet I could be wrong but it is a long way down um, it's actually hard to get get the roots killed that's the problem because it don't have to grow from the seed it can grow from the roots um, new shoots from each root and stuff this is a, a piece of ground we acquired here just a few years ago and it is infested with it um, that patch that I got sprayed earlier in the year which I didn't do any video of that because that is awful 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 rough um, it we used to it used to be infested also but I've done somewhat of a good job getting her under control um, it, like I said this is a newly acquired pasture I'm gonna my goal is I'm gonna spray a little bit today on pasture and I want to rinse my tank out and uh, we've got some sunshine there's our new bottomless tank by the way which we'll maybe do a video on that on putting the guard around it and stuff um, but we're wanting to I'm wanting to get a few more um, area sprayed in pasture with uh, this chemical that I'm using. It's uh, Tordon, 20, Tordon 22K and 240 Amy or whatever the heck it is called. That's what I'm spraying this with. And uh, best to spray this stuff in the fall and in the spring. Um, this stuff I let it go a little bit too long but our weather just hasn't cooperated for spraying very well. So. That I'm going to do this field here and then I'm going to go ahead and try to do um, maybe a little bit more I'm going to do one sprayer load is what my idea is I guess and uh, once I get my one sprayer load done I'm going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and rinse out my sprayer and then I'm hoping tomorrow I can go ahead and start spraying uh, fields, some corn ground that I've already planted. And I'll definitely be making footage of that. I think you guys will find that interesting and stuff. So we're going to definitely do that. Uh, I'm running 10 gallons of water an acre on this. Same thing I run with my um, with the field work on this field. But generally when I'm spraying grass or pasture, I actually put like 15, 10, 12 and a half to 15 gallons of water so I can drive slower. But this field, I'm lucky enough that it's smooth enough that I can go, oh, we can see how fast we're going here. 9.2 mile an hour, which for my self-propelled sprayer is a little on the slow side. It don't like going slow, but um, like I said, this, is, this field's all right. It's not terrible. But uh, anyhow, that's that, and that's kind of what I've been up to. I've been doing this today. Um, I'm gonna have to go to town, I think, tomorrow, or send somebody to town to go get some more chemicals to spray. Um, so, so yeah, I guess we're just gonna keep on working and hopefully get something accomplished before uh, the weather changes. It looks like we've got another. Oh, another 10 days maybe or so of, of chances of rain, but nothing It doesn't look like substantial like our last one, our five-incher, which uh, I'm never going to turn down rain. I, I'm not going to turn down rain. They could go from a swamp here to a drought before you know it. So I guess even if I get a little bit behind on my work, I guess it is what it is because you got to have rain to make the grass grow. Um, so that's kind of what's been going on. Um, I guess I was talking to somebody or telling somebody on one of their videos that on their cruiser, they had a Raven Cruiser 2, I think, GPS in their tractor for a sprayer. I think it might have been 
I can't remember what I'm not even gonna say, but anyhow, all it is on this particular model, which I know you've got a little bit different um, controller, but all it is is a hot wire. So when I turn this switch on and off here, it has a signal, a 12, a 12 volt hot. And that actually just hooks up to the back of this monitor, which I know this isn't a, this isn't a Raven Cruiser, but it's the same, it works the same. I had a Raven Cruiser uh, 2 in this sprayer until I bought this screen. My antenna went bad on my Raven. I couldn't get any support on it. So that's why I, I went ahead and, and uh, bought a different, bought a different brand because our local case international dealer um, deals with uh, Tremble products and uh, it's the same actually I think I might have used the same cord from my Tremble I just had to put a different end on it I believe so that's that and then when I turn the, this just the main boom on and off switch it turns the uh, paint on and off there and I don't have to turn hit, hit it on the screen um, I like that just because it's a lot simpler easier to uh, um, there's enough going on in the sprayer let alone trying to remember to turn on the paint um, but to each their own I guess you can do what you want I just thought I'd try to help a guy out and suggest something there and and uh, Gotta shut my booms off going over water. I don't like, I won't spray over water. It's uh, not good spraying over water. That's when the EPA gets angry. So, but anyhow, I guess that's what we're doing today. And like I said, rinse my sprayer out and and uh, get it ready to start spraying corn tomorrow. Maybe even get some water loaded up in my sprayer. I'm gonna have to go to town and get the chemical like I mentioned earlier and I'm gonna spray my corn I think with Roundup in Bamsville I think is what I'm gonna use. Um, we have Roundup resistant wheat so I will not spray just Roundup unless I absolutely have to. If I have a choice to spray something else with my Roundup I will. Um, but later in the year is normally when something like that happens or you don't have a choice to spray anything but Roundup. Um, because of residuals and with um, days before harvest and all that fancy dancy stuff. But man, this motor makes a lot of noise. But anyhow, I guess I hope you guys enjoyed the video here and and uh, I made some videos on my no-till and stuff. I, I plan to make more on that. I guess stay tuned on that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna wait till I get back in the field. Kind of more. I wanna go with a shovel sometime or spade and, and do some of that. Um, but like I said, anyhow, I'll let you guys go. I appreciate you watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, you have any questions on anything you have seen or want to see? I guess go ahead and message me or leave a comment somewhere on one of the videos. I do read all the comments. And I'll, uh, if it works, I'll definitely try to try to make a video for you for you on that subject, whatever you want. So, anyhow, we'll uh, talk to you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye.